Hey everybody, welcome back to Bible Study with a Sown Seed. We are just going to dive right in. I hope you had a wonderful week. Mm -hmm. um, today we are doing Dead to Sin, Alive to God, and we're reading from Romans 6. All right. Um, how about we pray first? Sure, no problem. Okay. Father, I just want to thank you for this opportunity and time to just share from your word. To the people that are listening, I pray for everyone listening and watching that you would speak to their hearts, give them some insight, give them some truth that will radically change their lives from this day forward. Thank you for speaking to our hearts and let it be acceptable in your sight. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. All right. We're going to start with verse 1. Yes. Romans 6, verse 1. What shall we say? Should we keep on sinning so that God's wonderful kindness will show up even better? So Ash, should we keep on sinning just because we know God's going to be forgiving to us? And because we know we have that grace? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so of course Paul says, by no means. Okay. That's a no. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's a no. <laughs> okay, so what I want to say is, in a world where people tell us it's okay to sin because we have God's grace, mm -hmm. that... um. You know, just to be who you are. And we are supposed to die daily to our sin, pick up the cross, and follow Jesus. And then that's when I think that we should be who we are. So when you say die daily, what do you mean by that? I mean to not give in to the sin, the things that you want. Mm -hmm. um, because a lot of the things that we want aren't good for our aren't good for us mm -hmm. and so we need to sacrifice and do away with those things because we know they're not good so we need to die daily to those things and like I put in my notes um like there's many times where I wake up and I just want to be a glutton and <laughs> and it's wrong and I just want to be greedy and I just want to eat all day and if I not eat Sometimes if I sacrifice not eating and not doing those things and spending more time with God and just giving it up, it's like I'm dying daily to myself. So you talk about making small steps of sacrifice. Yes. Where you desire something, but you say, I'll give this up for something greater, which is God's way. Yes. Okay, so dying daily is equivalent to saying no to yourself. Right. And yes to God. Yes. And okay. because when you do it God's way, it's so much better. Because when I do give into it, which sometimes I do, I'm not going to lie. When I do give into it, it's like um, where it says the wages of sin is death. Verse um, 23. Mm -hmm. At the end of being a glutton, like you feel horrible and you know you shouldn't have did it. You just feel terrible, and I just feel like that would be... Then you make up another plan to try to compensate for right. the mistake you made, and then you don't reach that goal, and then you make another goal, and then it's like this downward spiral infinity of, I'm not good enough, I'm messing up, I keep doing the same thing, so I'm going to just give up. Yeah. That's how you feel? Yeah. I, <laughs> I think we've all been there. You know, and that's a common mistake. I love there's a scripture in the Bible that says that this is not common, uncommon to man. You know, that it is common. Mm -hmm. And I think some of the temptations and struggles that we fight with, with sin, with following God and saying no to ourselves, that's very common. Mm -hmm. It might not be gluttony. It might not right. be all the same sin, but the premise and the principle is we're having the same struggle. Right. And I think that's what Paul's kind of hinting at, that... We all need to say, okay, sin has been ruling my life for a long time, mm -hmm. and I need to say no. And this is where I kind of stuck to verse 12 and 14. and mm -hmm. said, don't let sin rule your body. Verse 14, don't let sin keep ruling your life. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I feel like there's this big premise and idea that sin is ruling our life, and we're not in control. And God said, I came to die for you so that you could be in control, so right. that you could be free. And the more you allow sin to rule, the more you keep yourself in bondage. Mm -hmm. And even over in verse 22, it says, now you have been set free from sin and you are now God's. And yeah. so we're now God's, meaning he knows what's best for us. He has a great plan for us. He has great promises for us. And that sin didn't have all those things. Mm -hmm. They enticed us for, you know, maybe monetary or momentary pleasures. But God said, forget that. I got yeah. something great for all time. 
And I love that, you know, when growing up, knowing about sin, I'm a church kid, you know, and it's like, oh, sin, 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 don't do, don't do. And I was like, sin's so much bigger than just the do's and the don'ts. Right. It's, you know, the mental thinking, the emotionals, the the thought process, the sin is in the earth, the temptation, it's all this big old plot and plan to try to draw us away. And it's like, sin is really, the Bible talks about, it's one of the definitions, is missing the mark. Mm -hmm. And just not hitting the mark, which means all of us yeah. struggle with that. That's right. It's not like it's just the world and the church and the church is right. right. We all miss the mark in some area from time to time. And every time we miss the mark, we can't on our best day hit the bullseye every time, mm -hmm. which points to why we need Jesus. Right. So the only way to get free of sin, to hit the mark, it's not in your own power, it's in God's. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what Paul is really hinting at. Yeah, sin is bad. Yeah, we mess up. Yeah, mm -hmm. these things lead us astray. End of the day, it means this is why we need God. Yes. And this is how we can stay alive, by only finding God's love and promise. That's right, and I just feel like Jesus is such an example. I mean, mm -hmm. he died to sin, you know? He died for our sins. And verse 4, it says, Just as Christ was raised from the dead, by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. Yeah. So we should be dying to sin and we should be walking, ex well, expected to walk in the newness of life um, just as Jesus is doing it. Mm -hmm. Also, it says you must also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ. Mm. So this we want you to take away. I mean, it's much to take away if you read the chapter yeah. or if you just listen to the few minutes we share. But that you don't have to stay bound and crumbled and shackled to sin. Mm -hmm. God has sent his son Jesus to die for you so that you can be alive in Christ forevermore. So if that's you and you need that, say a simple prayer. Say, God, I need you. Mm -hmm. You know, I just need your help because I'm tired of missing the mark. Yes. And if you are already a believer and you know you have grace, you understand all that, but you're still struggling, open up your mouth as well and say, God, I just need some help today. Mm -hmm. You know, I need some help tomorrow. I need some help on the job. I need some help in my marriage. I need some help with my friends. Yeah. And God said, I'll be sure to meet you right where you are. Yeah. We love you so much. We thank you for tuning in. And we'll see you next week. See ya. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment below. We want to hear from you. And check out our social media. And what else? And don't forget to subscribe, check out the last video we posted, and we'll see you next time.